Jing Bay. Get to know about the traffic on your way and what news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. Good morning. लोग हम तब से एक प्यार भरा नमस्ते नमस्कार वनकम नमस्कार खुश आमदी सच्चे की मंदिर में जय स्वामी नारायण जय श्री कृष्ण जिनेन्द्र हमारे इस्माइली भाई बंदों को बोलते याली मदद मराली मदद बोलते सारे फीजे मतलब बोला बर्जन हम आ गए हैं आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारे मैं सिर्फ आलतू बाबा And of course, myself, Faltarani, lekar aap ke liye ek aur drive time that's going to make it totally exciting and totally, totally mustani. So that, but the journey, of course, good morning, baby. Aap humare mein na kya kya hone wala hai because good morning, baby. We share with you guys local news, national news, international news. Yahan tak ki for the past two, three days, we also have been sharing you extra terrestrial news as well, Bhujan. Oh. What extra terrestrial news? That's the way you say good morning to people who are actually outside. <laughs> What you talked about the thirty-six different uh, civilizations across the whole universe, right? Yes. So Intelligent. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It takes one to know one, actually, as what I would believe. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. So our civilization is not intelligent <laughs> enough to know them. What? Yeah. Didn't our civilization only identify the thirty-six other civilizations? Yes. Some according to some mathematical models. Yeah. Uh, Blake's model. So basically, it's hypothetical. It's nothing like the uh. fact. But I do know there are people out there. Uh, not people. I would. I won't call them people. They're beings out there, who listen to us. Huh? Yes, they are. Wow, uh. wow. <laughs> he meets them every morning, Bhujan. He goes into this patch of green land, open land. I do communicate with them. Yes. <laughs> And he has his dogs, which will catch that extra. What do you call that? Uh, no, uh. the dogs only for cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> as not 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 even protection my dog is like oh my god like not not even protection actually i don't know you sometimes feel like you know people who are dog owners huh. realize the dogs are actually not meant for any kind of protection at all you are actually are protecting the dog more than ulta yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey but just that let me tell you what's happening at the roads aapke liye raste ka haal dege hum log agli saste mein on this segment with yaar It's time for the Bandu traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at 408-912-2479. Well, Fatani, if this is going to be a new normal for our, our for our society, I am totally up for it. Please sign me on. Why, I'm man? I'm going to take on I'm going to I'm going to check on everything on sign any petition. This is been a good normal Fatani. Huh. This new normal is pretty interesting. Huh. The traffic is not so very severe, you know. Huh. Huh. People are still working, huh. right? Huh. It's like you know, it's nice. Now, and I think real estate should actually drop huh. at least, at least commercial real estate, huh. because no longer do companies require those big, big buildings for themselves. Huh. Now, what? Huh, huh. What do you say? My father is distracted totally. But the budget, let me see. There's nothing to report for you guys in terms of accidents, Raja. Watch out. Drive carefully. There are a few congestion happening in different places, but um, it's not something very severe for you guys to be worried about. Like for instance, on the um i think it's the 984 uh, dumbarton bridge ke aas paas mein uh, getting on to the bridge and getting off the bridge a bit of uh, uh, congestion on palo alto east palo alto which is always there as you guys know university avenue hai to obviously you'll have all kinds of traffic there and a little bit of congestion on 92 near hayward area then getting on to the bridge and getting off on the other else otherwise the traffic is moving smoothly all over the place uh, we want to give a sp- special shout out to the uh, uh, the chp and also to all the people working on road works for us making our roads lot more safer infrastructure wise uh, they have actually kept it going as essential uh, thing and uh, it was very nice for them to use this timely you know the mm-hmm. when there's uh, this traffic is light to get the, get all the work road work done mm-hmm. um is getting done but jan so i think by the time uh, we should uh, I, you know father remember the, the dream of mine to say we're going to hit 100 days of uh, covid shelter in place oh god dream ah uh-huh. Course. Dream, my goodness, this ah, fellow ah. is getting closer and closer. Yeah, huh? you just realize that it actually <laughs> is going to happen. The new normal is here already. So people yeah. are tuning to us like you know, radio. So hey, he the people tuning on the roads on the car, and now people are listening to us online as well. Online in the um on the TVs. Uh, yeah. गाने में ही गाना भी लिखा है ना कि TV पे stream कर लिया. Exactly, Faldo. Yeah. yeah. And I want to give us share a little bit of a uh, uh, you know I think um something very very makes me very happy hmm. is the fact that we don't advertise our app as much, right? Right. But people are still downloading. in our apps wow and thank you so much for that we hit our new milestone on app downloads and everything we're not marketing it because budget come here bandujan but yes if you're a business and you want to get your message across to the bandus um feel free to contact us for sure uh, we we make sure we vet our process we do make sure that uh, the people we work with 
um, uh, hold to st high standards. So please don't mind when you do that. Uh, but uh, it's always good for you also, right? It actually builds your credibility as well. So definitely contact us uh, if you want to advertise to our Bandhu network. It's very simple. Uh, message us through Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Radio D Hotties. So you also can actually send us a message, uh, Bandhu at mediamama.com. Or better still, there's a phone number which you can dial in, uh, which is 408 660 Six seven five three. Once again, four zero eight six six zero six seven five three. Uh, latest update coming to you guys, Banujan. There's actually a report of an accident that just happened on eighty northbound south of Hitchinburger Road in Oakland. Um, it is not affecting traffic, but it's on eight eighty. It's on the right shoulder, so watch out for that. Drive very very carefully in that region. Uh, just don't uh, think that you know. Oh, Gadi slowed down. No, it slowed down because there was an incident out there. So watch out for that. Um, apart from that, oh oh, eight eighty is. <laughs> One more accident on ATD Berlin in Fremont area at Stevenson Boulevard, gas pass me. The lane is affected over there, but uh, uh, I see some backups happening in the region. Um, so there you go. Uh, drive time car. I was just, I spoke too soon, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I had to learn to control myself, Altamani. That is true, Altamani. Yeah. Everybody should learn to control ourselves. Why, man? No, not, not getting too much excited about Why things. Man? Yeah, I think right now is time when you feel, oh my God, it's going to be opening up totally. The yeah. After 100 days, we're going to open up totally. Now. No, we're not opened up all the way. Uh -huh. We have to control ourselves a little bit. Right. Very important. Uh, wo, both important. Uh, speaking of control, a song is from the movie uh, Chichore. Huh. I haven't seen the movie, Faltoni, but this song is so interesting. Have you ever done any of these things? I don't, I, don't know. Know. I don't know why they do it though. No, no. What is the reason behind them uh, establishing control in their lives? It's about hazing, man. It's like which hostel is which, you know, you have one house versus the other. Don't, you've lived in a boarding school, I right? I have, but the point is, why is this control coming into play? We'll talk about it after the song. You'll listen to it. It is fun movie, Chichore. Shushan Singh, Raj Pukke, Ek Aur Bar. We're going to remember the love. Enjoy the song. We'll be back after this. Control, control, but it's yeah, well, I'll tell you what, this, I've got to go watch the movie, yaar. It's a good movie, actually, I got oh, it. I, got, I remember what it was. What is it? Each of them has their own flaw, like one guy smokes too much, one uh. guy loves drink too much, uh. one likes spoon too much, uh. that kind of thing, right? Uh. So they'll say that unless we win this, you guys will not be able to indulge in any one of those things. Ah, self-control. Self-control. Oh my so God. See, it totally fits everybody out here right now. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, please exercise some self-control right now. Eh? What? <laughs> People have got used to all those posting the cookery mm. videos on uh, thing. You know, notice one thing, as the shelter in place is going off, even people are getting used to all those cookery video, excess videos and all. <laughs> it's kind of fading away right now. <laughs> anyway, Bajan, that was a fad. A fad never stays for long. It keeps on going. Like in Ek Cheez Hai which comes and goes, comes and goes, and that's the news updates for you guys. 
गाइस जो हम लोग आपको देते हैं बहुत प्यार से हमारे फालतूनी आपके लिए पेश करती है मनोरंजन इनफैक्ट पेश क्या करना वो आपके लिए समेटती है न्यूज इधर उधर से राइट फालतूनी हाँ बिल्कुल मेरे को इतना न्यूज मेरे को टाइम ही मिलता है आज तो से हमेशा मेरा झगड़ा होता है कि व्हाट मैन दैट्स ऑल आई हैव टाइम फॉर या फालतूनी बिकॉज़ फालतूनी लाइक्स टू टॉक ऑन द माइक बट जानी शी डोंट दैट प्रॉब्लम फालतूनी तो कम ऑन फालतूनी लेट्स से व्हाट्स व्हाट्स द हेडलाइंस फॉर टुडे कैन यू शेयर द विद आवर बंदूस टुडे यस बट जान द यूएस सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिलीवर्स अ ह्यूज ब्लो टू द ट्रंप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशंस बिड टू एंड द ड्रीमर्स इमिग्रेंट प्रोग्राम Democrats consider next steps after the shocking Bolton revelations on Trump. Wow. Yes, I'll share that with you as well. Atlanta officer says he is not turning state's witness in the Rashad Brooks case, contradicting the prosecutor who's saying that uh, Devin the officer, the other second officer who was there on the scene mm-hmm. was going to be state's witness. Mm-hmm. Uh the International Monetary Fund is saying that there is a deeper than expected contraction in the US economy which is likely in the second quarter wow and um uh, in uh, seattle for those of you who don't know they took over a certain area and they said that that is a non government area oh, really? meaning they do not yeah n- uh, the government of the united states has no control over that area is that what Now, they said yes okay. so what does that protest that particular protest camp and the governor of uh, seattle mm-hmm. and also the mayor of that particular city they all given in yeah because they, they said, said it's right, okay go ahead and it, do it in it. It wasn't the governor of seattle who said that uh, trump has no jurisdiction in what the state does yeah yeah so uh, uh, what does uh, that mean what does that particular seattle's protest camp mean and remember who we are fighting for is their slogan so yeah. um and then of course uh, in from in updates from the india china standoff china uh, should be confining activities to its side of the border says the ministry of external affairs and also uh, the indian government is working on major steps major overhauling to cut import dependence on china excellent first of all cut tiktok please yeah <laughs> that's true exactly cut tiktok please because that is something that everybody is crazy about that's true in fact all the stars bollywood stars forget the bollywood stars our kids over here locally how many of the kids use tiktok uh, it's unbelievable yeah people wonder how will that help right yeah. of course it might be a free account for you but they do make advertising revenue no it's not only about advertising revenue manjan uh, tiktok is a, not a secure platform and um, there is a very uh, the fbi warning that came out we had shared it on good morning base so please be careful if you see anybody please make it a point to let them know about the fbi fbi warning what it is is that any products in fact just like how they said huawei right mm-hmm. um there are any products that are stationed out of china the government there has access to all the data mm-hmm. and has access to everything that is all to all their users as well so mm-hmm. please be careful you're putting yourselves at risk whatever it could be your child could have installed it on your computer or on your phone or on your family phone network you know what i call the plan right mm-hmm. it might be on one of the phones and they could be putting you at risk so please make sure wow. that yeah yeah um that you don't uh, download uh, you know these fad softwares so mm-hmm. anyway so let's go into the detailed news headlines one of the most important uh, uh, big news items that broke yesterday banjan was with regard to the john bolton book mm-hmm. the trump administration is revving up its uh, dispute over the forthcoming book by former national security advisor john bolton mm-hmm. now president trump is saying that he wants the courts to stop its release because it could reveal government secrets ah it's not government secrets his secrets yeah that's what's going to happen it's going to be like you know a uh, revelation about what all he does yeah. so the next election will be problematic yes but i i really like the way he works he follows the law to break the law is that is that no a, he uses hey, 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 he dude. uses upholders of the law to break the law no you you're making it seem like as if he's using no 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 he follows the law to break the law because using people again is like a negative thing don't do all those things please fatwani don't show him in a negative he follows the law to break the law isn't that very very nice way of trying to find loopholes and things you know isn't he like totally intelligent that no that if he if you're going to put it that way he follows the law to cover up his breaking of the law uh, 
No, he yes. follows the law to break the law. Whatever, man. Go, man. It doesn't make sense at all. Like, I, you, you are. Li- oh my God, you are like liberal media. But then there you go. I have. A, I'm a conservative, <laughs> and she's liberal right now. Whatever. That's one thing about Aldo Faldo. We always differ in matters. There is no liberal. Opinions. Banjai, there's no liberal. There's no conservative. Please, there's supreme no leader is not going to be talked that way. I, I don't. I wouldn't. Aldo, uh, stop calling him the supreme leader. He's not. He likes it that a way. A lot of Bindus listen to us, and they will get brainwashed. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Um. And let me tell you, again, he derailed what I was talking about. Well, we'll chat about John Bolton's book, right? Several news outlets actually got early copies of the book, and uh, among the allegations. Bolton says President Trump asked Chinese President Xi Jinping to help in winning the re-election and at times casually offered to intervene in the criminal justice system for foreign leaders. So sweet. According to Bolton, Trump claimed Venezuela was essentially part of the US. Um, to justify military action there and he once asked if Finland was part of Russia <laughs> oh to so they can actually ah, ah, so sweet see he got a point there Fadwani <laughs> see I, I asked Supreme Leader oh sorry you don't want to call him that right yeah. uh, her excellency you know yeah and he also Bolton goes to the extent of saying that the president's own secret officials perhaps including um, a famous loyal Mike Pompeo mocked him behind his back That's right, Banu Jan. Hey, but isn't there one more thing coming up? A, a whole Bolton is one, but isn't there one more, his his own niece? Uh, forget her name. She also is a PhD owner. She's talking about revealing everything about Trump, the troubled, uh, the troubled family. Oh really? That's Trump. awesome! I can't wait to read it. Well, the book. Oh no, no, he's lawyering up. Oh my goodness! No, no, no. He's keeping his lawyer team very busy. Well, even um, they are putting a stay order on that particular book to be released. There's, there's something else that I heard yesterday, but I don't want to share that uh, because I don't know the details of the story. It uh-huh. was a, uh, uh, it was something that uh, Anderson Cooper referred to uh, in his uh, one of his um, uh, in his news segment yesterday, uh, and I just caught the last bit of it where they talked about. how uh, in Bolton's book there's also some revelation regarding uh, how Trump said that they would use Ivanka Trump's personal cell phone to uh, carry on some uh, business so that it cannot be traced back to him mm-hmm. that it cannot be considered government uh, business to take care of this I was like what and i was i was trying to like you can't rewind right on a live news uh, thing That's true. so um i will bring you that update i definitely am going to look into it and so little bit for, for people mm-hmm. who actually were, like, uh, who's just stood up <coughs> uh, and uh, what the book mm-hmm. of uh, his niece his niece mm-hmm. name was is uh, mary trump okay. and she actually has been uh, 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 she's actually going to give a tell all kind of a book it's titled very nice huh. too much and never enough Oh my god. How my family created the world's most dangerous man is what she's writing about. Oh my and god. And guess who's on the cover page? Trump. Mhm. No, is it Eric Trump? It's him. It's him. It's a Donald it's Trump. Donald himself. Oh my god. Yeah, and but he's uh, the uh, publisher's actually um uh well, well actually the, the publishing house probably might not publish it because he's going to be lording up for that Uh, you know for getting well i hope they do publish holding it. it out i hope they do publish it anyway um regardless i think everybody has a story to tell yeah. each person has their own version i i'm sure the trump presidency even if it ends this year uh, he will uh, he will make money in his book he is going to get a book i'm waiting for the book because it's got to be nice pictures and you know nice uh, one month sentence of pages suppose you can just go yeah. chill this book or you know what i can't cut it out I'm the best. <laughs> Making America great again, not cheese but great. Oh god, stop. That is like such a pathetic uh, punnery there. Anyway, uh, what are the Democrats doing, Madanjan? The Democratic lawmakers on Thursday said that they are considering next steps including a subpoena on how to respond to allegations by former top White House aide John Bolton that President Trump sought foreign help to get re-elected. It seems like another <laughs> opposition party over here, the so-called Democrats, right? They don't they're powerless. It, it just seems like that. It seems yeah. it. I I don't know. I thought in yeah, democracy they have to change the balance in the Senate. Yeah, they have there to. There has to be something. So well, then the number is going to be very crucial for you guys to make sure you get people who actually are somebody who matches your thought process. Now, probably your thought process might match a Trump. More poverty. Go do it. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying they also have a balance for sure. Really? <laughs> really? 
<laughs> what? Anyway, never mind. <laughs> in a new book that paints a withering portrait of his ex-boss, the former national security advisor accused Trump of sweeping misdeeds that included explicitly seeking uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping's aid in winning a second term in the November 3rd presidential election. Um, and of course, obviously, what did uh, Trump say? It's a compilation of lies and called his former advisor a sick puppy. Lies, lies, and more. Who was trying to avenge his firing? Is what he's saying. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know, it could be true. You know, yeah. it could be true. Well, I don't know. Bolton refused to testify in the U.S. House of Reps, if you remember, in the impeachment probe, and threatened to sue if subpoenaed, but he offered to testify in the subsequent Senate trial. The Republican-confirmed Senate, though, did not take Bolton up on his offer. Oh. Yeah, Democrats were angry that Bolton saved his revelations for a book rather than participate in the... Hey, this is America, capital world. Come on, everybody is saving up for a book. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, um, uh, Adam Schiff, who led the um, uh, you know, who's the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, um, who led the impeachment inquiry late last year, sharply criticized Bolton as being unpatriotic for withholding all that information. Wow. But let's talk about something good and happy, Banujan, the Dreamers program. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court on Thursday dealt President Donald Trump a major setback on his hardline immigration policies, blocking his bid to end a program that uh, protects um, from deportation of hundreds of thousands of immigrants, often called dreamers, who entered the United States illegally as children. The justices on a 5-4 to four vote upheld lower court rulings that found that Trump's 2017 move to rescind DACA, which is the Deferred Action for Children uh, for Childhood Arrivals, program uh, created by, in 2012 by his Democratic predecessor, Barack Obama, was unlawful, is what the Supreme Court said. <clears throat> Conservative Chief Justice John Roberts, oh thank God, uh, joined the court's four liberals in finding that the administration's actions were, quote, arbitrary and capricious, unquote, under a federal law called the Administrative Procedure Act. What does this ruling mean? It means that roughly 649,000 immigrants, mostly young Hispanic adults born in Mexico and other Latin American countries currently enrolled in DACA will remain protected from deportation and uh, will be eligible to obtain a renewable two-year work permits. Um, this is a huge win for the immigrant rights um, advocates and activists, Manajam. Um, let's talk a little bit about Rayshard Brooks. Uh, for those of you who have been following that story, it is just heartbreaking. Yesterday I saw a video um, where Rayshard Brooks was, who was incarcerated, right? And mm-hmm. he was making changes in his life and he talks about how he wants, he's happy that he's getting out to go and see, you know, attend his daughter's birthday party. Yeah. Um, and uh, he, he was killed just before that. Mm-hmm. So uh, the ex-Atlanta police officer who shot Rayshard Brooks last weekend has been charged with felony murder. Garrett Rolfe uh, now faces 11 charges. Some of them stem from his alleged conduct after shooting the black man twice in the back during a confrontation outside of Wendy's. The Fulton County District Attorney said Rolfe kicked Brooks after shooting him and failed to give him timely first aid. The other officer on the scene is also charged with aggravated assault for allegedly standing on Brooks' shoulder as he lay in the parking lot. <clears throat> the um, announcement sent ripples of tension throughout the city hours after the charges were announced. The Atlanta Police Department said an unusual number of officers called out sick from their late shift. They were not responding to calls. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms uh, said the uh, city was still safely covered and she hopes officers honor their commitment to protect and serve. And I watched her live interview yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was very, very, um, very, very moving interview, Banjan. And then she said, you know, if there are officers who are, um, call, you know, who are staying out and, you know, in solidarity of an officer who actually perpetrated a crime, mm-hmm. then we need to rethink whether these officers belong in the force. That's very true. I agree with them. Defund them totally. Yeah. No, no, not all of them. She said there are people who uh, who took the oath yeah. uh, when you became a police officer to uphold the law and those people I trust will come back. Apparently, they increased their pay and everything for them to be able to afford mm-hmm. living in Atlanta. So, um, also, uh, the uh, let's move on over and talk about the IMF. 
IMF is uh, saying that a de facto lockdown in the United States has lasted longer than expected despite a rollback in some restrictions on mobility, pointing to a deeper than expected contraction in gross domestic product in the second quarter. Uh, one more thing, Twitter users, let's tell you, now you can actually, they've introduced a voice feature. Mm-hmm. So you can scream out to the world if you want. So I have a feeling I know who's going to use it mm-hmm. <laughs> the most. Um, and uh, while we're speaking of uh, Twitter, let's also tell you that Facebook is suing individuals for offering to extract data and gather likes. So if... Um, um, you know, say, uh, Facebook is saying that uh, they file lawsuits against individuals in Europe and the United States for abusing its platforms to offer automated tools for scraping users' personal data and gathering likes. What? Yes. So I have had people who come and said, oh, we can get you likes, we can get you this. There are many of those people who, and, and a lot of people in the data community too. One thing they can get is sued. Yes, and that's what Facebook is doing. And... Uh, Let's tell you, in India, the government uh, the, is working on steps to reduce import dependence on China and bu- boost domestic manufacturing. They said policymakers are not considering any knee-jerk measures against China in the wake of ongoing border tensions between the two countries. Uh, apparently, 14% of India's imports are Chinese. Uh, and uh, China is a major supplier of sectors like cell phones, telecom, power, plastic toys, and critical pharma ingredients. So India is looking to reduce that dependence. And they're also saying that at this point, uh, they go, they held another round of talks following the fierce clash in the Galvan Valley. And they're saying that China should be confining their activities to their side of the border and not come on to ours. China we should be thankful that we're not applying sanctions on them. <laughs> yeah, India doesn't apply sanctions, right? No. We try to reduce. Yes. Because we believe in you know working coexisting. Yeah, that's the way we work also. Correct. Exactly. But he, but he control, Barajan. Please, China, you also control yourself, please. Yes, Barajan. Self control. Wow, leading to the song already, Fatrani. Yeah. <sighs> That's all we have for you on this morning's Good Morning Bay Bandujan. If you want to catch up on more of these stories and find out um, uh, how once Isaac Newton had said that you can cure the plague with lozenges uh, made from toad vomit. Yeah. yeah. But you can actually go to mediamahiva.com and share that on Media Mahiva. Take a, a breath. Have a terrific Thursday, Bandujan. We'll see you live at 5 on the Pam Pam Show. Control.